Hey guys and welcome to part 2 of the Taken Care text widget tutorial series. In this video we'll take a look at the text widget uh, and its extra features such as tags, marks, adding images, adding a scroll bar. We'll take a look at all these kind of things. All right? In the previous video we just covered the very basics. All right? So let's get right into it and add an image. All right? So we'll do self.image is equal to um, tk dot photo image right this is the way of basically importing an image here and converting it into a format that take inter can understand all right so or here we'll do file is equal to crown dot png this is the name of the image that i have in the same directory as this python file all right okay now let's change this insert function over here all right insert image all right I'll go down here and delete this, change it to image create. Now this takes two parameters, all right? The first parameter is the index at which to insert the image, all right? So let's do something like end, append it to the end, all right? And over here we'll do image is equal to uh, self.image, all right? Let's run this and let's insert an image. Well, actually, let's, let's put some text. This is an image below. All right, and there you go. There's our image. Of course, the size is something you'll have to be careful with. It just puts it in the default size. You know, the size of the actual image, right? And again, I discussed this in the previous video. We can do this, you know, tiki dot insert to basically insert the image wherever our cursor is. So yeah, or if you put it near the top, it puts it over there put it all the way at the bottom and the image shows up down here all right so that's how do we that's how we add images let's move on to scroll bars self dot scroll is equal to tk dot scroll bar all right self dot frame self dot scroll dot pack all right let's move this sorry to the right all right because we want this on the side basically and we'll change the fill as well so that it expands itself properly in the y direction now and let's call this scroll y all right now we'll go over here and set the y scroll command self dot scroll y dot set the set function of this scroll bar now uh, there's actually a separate video on scroll bars i'll include the link in the description below so check that out if you don't understand anything over here all right, and then over here, I'm going to do self dot scroll y dot config and command is equal to self dot text dot y view. I'm pretty sure I did that right. All right, now let's run this. Okay, there we go. There's our scroll bar, and it's appearing just as I wanted it to. Uh, uh, you know, basically taking up the whole y axis over here. That's what the fill was for. All right, now let's go ahead and type in some data here. All right, and look at that. We can now use the scroll bar, or we can just scroll using the mouse wheel as well. So it's like, you know, we get two features built in. We can use the mouse wheel, and we can also just drag this as well. So yeah, that's pretty great. And you know, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this on the x-axis as well. Now, I think we don't normally do this, I think. But I, I just want to show you a few things that, you know, along the way. So scroll, self plus scroll x, all right, change this to x, and put this at the bottom, all right. And oh wait, we gotta do this as well. Orient by default, it, the orientation is vertical, which is why we didn't have to do anything earlier. But since we're doing horizontal, we have to change that, all right? That's horizontal. And what else? course let's just break this down all right x scroll command is equal to self dot scroll x dot set and we'll just copy paste this here and change that okay and change this to x view let me run this okay now let's try and force it to scroll in the x okay now look at that 
you see because we have a wrap enabled this is not gonna work right because it'll just wrap it before it does, you know, actually moves it on right so basically you will never have the chance to scroll so i'm gonna change this to tk.none basically disabling the wrap feature okay and watch this now there you go we can scroll so yeah i just wanted to i just wanted to actually show you this uh, wrap problem that, that would occur because some of you may encounter this problem all right so what next we've done images and scrolling okay so next up is tags now tags is a bit of a complicated feature i mean it is pretty simple in effect okay but the problem is that uh, it's a bit hard to actually show its implementation which is actually what the next video is about in the next video we're basically going to be featuring tags and marks and uh, general formatting and stuff properly in the next video so but for now i'll just basically introduce you to it so i'm going to put some default text in here all right uh it's a bit necessary for what we're going to do okay so right in the start okay i want to insert this is some sample data okay and you know it will also make it into two lines this is line two of the sample data okay now we're going to be experimenting with tags on this so now we have two lines of text let's run this and there we go we can see our two lines of text right there we'll just change this to make it start from the start of the line okay now let's add some tags so we'll go tag add all right now this is where we just add a, a tag all right we're not gonna configure the tag yet okay now basically the first parameter takes the name of the tag we'll call this one red all right the second one and this is the second and the third parameters are the range so basically a tag is like um sort of a label in a sense we there's a range okay like a line one or two line two all right and we basically tag this range and then we can configure this tag like changing the text for this tag and then this tag the changes that we apply on the tag such as changing the color to red it will basically affect that range so it will change the color of the text or the background to red all right that's basically what tags are so yeah the second parameter is the starting range so i'll go with 1.0 and the third parameter is the ending range so i'll do 1.0 line end hopefully that should work now let's just copy paste this real quick because i want to add two tags one for line one one for line two and we'll call this one blue now we've made the tags okay one called red one called blue but we haven't actually um, configured them yet so let's do tag configure red the name name of the tag okay you need to mention this and foreground you can change uh, background as well but i'm change i want to change the color of the text so i'm changing okay you know what let's go ahead and change the background okay we'll change this to red and we can change the font normally i don't recommend doing this because if you have a lot of text and you only want to apply a tag on just one line and then it looks weird if uh, all of the text is in one format uh, you know one size and one different font family and the one with the tag is in some different format so it just looks a bit off but i'm just gonna do this for demonstration purposes all right so it's fine then i'll copy this again and let's change this to a different font type times okay and let's increase the size as well change this to blue don't forget to change the name and let's run this okay look at that hmm, so the second one is a bit hard to see you know what let's change that to yellow let's change everything to yellow 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 over there and there you go i think that's easier to see 
And the reason why line one uh, text seems larger is just because of the font type, all right? The font type also has some effect on the uh, size of the font, all right? So keep that in mind. So yeah, this is, this is what tags are. You can use them to apply special changes. You can change the background color, foreground color, foreground colors for the color of the text itself. You can change the font type. You can do all kinds of interesting things. We'll take a look at this more in the next video, all right? So be sure to check, to check that out. Okay, so one thing I totally forgot to mention earlier uh, was the self.text.tag.delete function, all right? So basically we created a tag here called red, right? So we can, we can delete it like this, all right? We can just call this the tag and input the tag name and voila, it's deleted, go on. So let's just try this out, all right? I'm going to create a new function called delete tag, all right, self. And we'll do that over here. And I'll create a new button. Okay, and I'll call this delete tag, all right? And it'll call the delete tag function, all right? And that sounds about right, okay. And back up here, this is getting a bit confusing actually. This is actually the kind of point where we have to actually begin formatting our takeinter window and how we actually create widgets, all right? Because this is a bit too messy. It's getting hard to actually find anything in here, okay. Now, if I did this correctly, the red tag should delete. And there you go, we just deleted it. That's great. Okay, so there's one more thing. Well, you see, you can actually use tag.remove as well. So what this does is uh, removes the effects of the tag from a specific region. It doesn't remove the entire thing, all right? It just removes a specific region. Uh, like let's say that the, let's assume that the red tag was affecting three lines, one, two, three, and we want to remove its effect from line two. So if you do use delete, we'll delete the entire thing. We don't want that. So we'll use remove, which will remove its effect from line uh, two, for example, right? Mm, I'm gonna try this word start. I hope this will work. 1.0 and word end, all right? Now, if I've done this correctly, uh, it should remove the red tag from the first word on the first line. And yes, that worked. It removed the tag from that line. So that's the end of this video. We've covered almost all the concepts that the Tickinter text widget has, all right? We've covered so many different things, all right? There's still one thing left, one major thing left that, that I can think of, marks. Uh, we'll cover that in the third video, all right? The third video where we discuss syntax highlighting. It's a bit of a niche uh, kind of thing, but if you really want to know, then just check the third video out and you'll also see all kinds of different things like an actual syntax highlighter being created and uh, all kinds of different concepts being used, all right? Um, the third video isn't actually part of the playlist, so you won't find it in there. It's actually like a bonus video that you can find separately. So I've included the link in the description below. So be sure to check that out. All right, so that's about it. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and see you in the next video.